Okay, in this video we're going to look at setting up the graphics libraries for Python um, under Portable Python on Windows. And you can do this at home as well using Portable Python. should be the same uh, setup. You would, you would first need to make sure that you grab, uh, from the pickup folder, you grab the uh, Python libraries folder. Probably just this whole folder would be best. Um, and copy that to your USB. It contains uh, Piglet and Pi Processing and maybe some additional information that I'll place in there uh, and uh, copy that to bring that home. So from there what you need to do is open up Pi Scripter um, and we're going to actually run the setup from uh, within those folders. So if I go to um, the pickup folder. And go to the Python libraries. We're going to do Piglet first. That's a kind of OpenGL graphics engine. We need to go in two of the folders and then open up this setup.py file. Okay, we're going to open up. We're not going to run it just yet. We've opened it. When we when we do run it, we need to. This is actually an installer script, so we have to pass in what's called a command line parameter. So I'm going to click here and actually type in install and also I'm going to click check that box use command line parameter. So when we run this it's going to run it uh, with this as a uh, if you were to run it on a command line you'd run that setup.py but you'd also say install afterwards. That sets the command line parameter. It doesn't actually run it at that point. In order to do that, we click on this run as we normally would. We're not doing external run. We're doing the regular uh, run. And you'll see things happen down here. Command line install, running install. So this, you should see that happen. Um, and it might take a little longer on, on your machine if it hadn't compiled yet. Um, and then in the end, you should see something like that where you, you get the prompt again and some information that printed out. We'll open up Pi Processing now. So go up and into Pi Processing and open up Setup just like we did before. Not easy setup, but Setup. You've already got the command line parameter here, so we'll just go straight to Run. Same thing, we saw the install message. And now we should be able to actually um, test this and see if uh, we can run one of the examples. So first of all, we'll turn off the command line parameter. We can delete this, but we can also, and also we'll uncheck that box. So we're already in the Pi Processing folder. We'll go down into examples um, and under handbook we'll open this sensebeat file. And then we'll just, I'm just going to cut this line out because I actually have put that in. So we'll run this. Now this is running very slowly on this machine. It may, it may be if you're installing this um, elsewhere that you find that this this chases the mouse uh, almost immediately and it is running just fine. So if that's the case, you're finished at this point and you can um, you can start using Pi Processing um, for uh, just to make sure, just to kind of double check that this is working properly. Uh, I'm just going to add inside of the example file right before the size command okay so here you see this command size I'm going to paste in with proper indenting okay I'm going to paste in this thing that says hint and then in in capitals hint and then a parenthesis and then in capitals with these underscores exactly as it's written this is a, a kind of constant uh, single underscore flip underscore policy I'll run it again. And 
you can hopefully you notice now it's 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 running much more smoothly. It's uh, the animation actually is is not too flickery. So this this is probably the best situation for the the uh, computers at school, which have an older, uh, fairly old graphics system. Um, but this seems to be working well enough. Okay, so at this point you're done. Um, you can't save this file, but you should maybe copy and paste this little line somewhere on some uh, on a file somewhere that you have uh, in your H drive um, so that you can kind of paste this into your setup when, when we're working.